Now, I want to go back and uh, talk a little bit more about, about perception because uh, uh, marketers develop a lot of, in the marketing mix, they develop ads and packaging and a lot of things that people perceive as they, uh, as they buy products. And there can be all sorts of errors or problems in perception. So I'd like to illustrate how people perceive things in a different way by showing you this passage. What I'd like you to do is uh, stop the, the lecture and count the number of the letter F's in the passage. Now when I do this with my class, I, I ask you know, the students how many letters they counted, and I'll get three, four, five, and six as the answer. I'm, so uh, you can compare your own answers, and in fact, it, it's, all, it's always quite unusual to find that, uh, that there's such variability, that it's such a simple task to count the letter F's, yet I get anywhere between, between three and six. Uh, in fact, the answer is six. There are one, two, three, four, five, and six letter F's. And uh, it shows that even though people see the same thing, they often don't perceive it in the same way. The other element of, of perception is that we'll often, do, um, not just the sort of physical perception that, that our eyes and sort of minds process things in different ways, but we may uh, uh, decide, we, we may process information based on our sort of preconceived beliefs. Um, if uh, we decide that we're, you know, if some information is being presented to us and uh, it doesn't perhaps coincide with, uh, with uh, some feelings that we might have, we might decide not to expose ourselves to it um, completely or not pay attention to it or not even comprehend it or not even retain it. Uh, we, see, we receive a lot of information on a daily basis. Uh, in terms of advertising, anywhere up to three to 400 ads is an average number of, of ads that we might see in a day. And uh, if I asked you how many ads you saw or you remember yesterday, it might only be one or two. And uh, so it's, it's difficult to, to often retain a lot of information. And so there are often problems in the, in the perception of, uh, of marketing communications. Uh, one of the other sort of ways that marketers uh, sort of manage perception and learning is through cues. Uh, we use colors, names, sounds, packaging, smells, uh, all that sort of information to try to uh, hope that consumers sort of learn and develop beliefs about products. A couple of examples are uh, in terms of colors, uh, we, uh, we associate, associate certain, certain colors with strength. So for example, um, uh, laundry detergent. Detergent in blue boxes, because we tend to think of blue as, uh, as sort of mild or, or all temperature, uh, or that's why you know, products like all temperature cheer are in blue, because they're considered sort of mild, whereas uh, strong products tend to be sitting in, in sort of very red-based uh, products like bold, and someone, something like Tide is actually orange, so it's considered strong, yet it has a sort of a gentle aspect, and that's the, the yellow coming in. Uh, products for babies or, or delicates are, are packaged in pink, and they're just sort of color associations that we have developed with our culture. Um, same thing with names of products. If you think about cars, uh, why we don't have things like turtles or donkeys, why there, we have jaguars and uh, uh, you know, mustangs, which are, which are much uh, faster sounding. We sort of associate um, product features with those sounds. Uh, there was a good example of a snowblower that was a, a small snowblower for uh, uh, for, uh, for small homeowners and they called it a snow pup and it didn't sell because pup just has a um, sort of a not a very strong name and they, they turned around the next year and changed the name to snow master and it sold, reasonably, it sold very well and, and they didn't change the, the product at all, they just changed the name. And, and so we perceive different features and benefits based on, on, on various cues that we have. Um, the other example with sound is uh, when you take a, a blender uh, or, or a vacuum cleaner in, in a demonstration, companies will often take off the mufflers to make them sound louder because people perceive that to be a, a stronger sounding or stronger being product. Um, so marketers will uh, sort of work really hard to try to deliver communications to perhaps